visitors often report hearing whispers as they navigate the island. People have reported seeing the ghost of a former inmate wandering the halls. Sounds of footsteps following visitors or echoing in the distance are a common experience. They left the island immediately, haunted by the experience. Real Haunted Places, Mexico. Isla de las Muñecas. The Island of the Dolls, or Isla de las Muñecas in Spanish, is a unique and eerie place located in the canals of Xochimilco, near Mexico City. This small island is famous for its hundreds of dolls, many in various states of disrepair, hanging from trees and scattered around the island. The story begins with Don Julian Santana Barrera, the island's caretaker. Legend has it that he discovered a young girl who had drowned in the canals. Soon after, he saw a floating doll nearby which he assumed belonged to the girl. In her memory, he hung the doll on a tree. This act became an ongoing project for him, as he continued to hang more and more dolls, both whole and in parts, around the island for the next 50 years. He believed these dolls helped to chase away the spirit of the drowned girl. Visitors to the island of the dolls often report a chilling atmosphere and an uneasy feeling. Some have even claimed that the doll's eyes follow them or that they have heard the dolls whispering to each other. These experiences contribute to the island's reputation as a haunted place. Visitors often report hearing whispers as they navigate the island. One visitor described walking through the dense trees and feeling an overwhelming sense of unease as the dolls, with their lifeless eyes, seemed to follow them. The whispers, although not loud, felt like they were coming from all directions, creating a chilling ambiance. There's a frequent account of the dolls appearing to move. A visitor once mentioned that as they were taking photos, one of the doll's limbs moved slightly as if caught by an unseen breeze, yet the air was still. The experience was unnerving, making the visitor question if the movement was a trick of the light or something more supernatural. Many people feel like the dolls are watching them. A tourist shared that no matter where they went on the island, they felt the unblinking eyes of the dolls following them, creating a sensation of being constantly watched. This feeling was so intense that it made them hurry through their visit. There's a story told by a visitor who swore they heard a soft crying sound. As they followed the sound, it led them to a doll that looked more decayed than the others. The crying seemed to come from the doll, sending shivers down the visitor's spine. They left the island immediately, haunted by the experience. Some visitors have reported sudden drops in temperature in certain areas of the island, often accompanied by an unsettling feeling of sadness or dread. One such account describes a warm day suddenly turning chilly as they approached a cluster of particularly old and disfigured dolls. These accounts contribute to the island of the dolls' reputation as a chilling and supernatural place. Whether these experiences are due to the power of suggestion or something truly unexplainable, they certainly make the island a captivating destination for those interested in the eerie and paranormal. The Black Palace of Lecumberi, or El Palacio Negro de Lecumberi in Mexico City, has a dark and chilling history. Built in the early 1900s, it was originally a prison. The design of Lecumberi was like a spoke of a wheel, with wings radiating from a central hub. This was meant for easy control and surveillance, but behind its walls, it held tales of dread and despair. After the prison closed in the late 20th century, it was converted into the general archive of the nation, housing important historical documents. 
yet the transformation didn't seem to erase its past. Visitors and employees at the archive have reported a sense of unease, as if the building still holds on to its former life. They describe a heavy atmosphere, sometimes feeling a sudden drop in temperature, or the feeling of being watched from the dark corners of the archive rooms. Some even refuse to be alone in certain parts of the building, especially after sunset, fearing an encounter with the remnants of its haunting past. People have reported seeing the ghost of a former inmate wandering the halls. This ghost is often described as a shadowy figure with a sense of deep sadness emanating from it. Witnesses say they feel a heavy air of despair when they spot this apparition. There are stories about a woman's spirit that roams the corridors, crying for her lost freedom. Her wails are said to be so heart-wrenching that they send shivers down the spine of those who hear them. The legend suggests she was falsely imprisoned and died longing for justice. Former guards and visitors have spoken of hearing phantom footsteps in the dead of night. These footsteps are often accompanied by the sound of jangling keys, as if an invisible guard is still patrolling the halls. People have reported hearing voices with no visible source. These voices are often muffled as if coming from behind the walls. Some claim these are the conversations of past prisoners, forever echoing through the prison. A common experience is the sudden drop in temperature and the feeling of an unseen hand touching or brushing against them. This sensation is often reported in the solitary confinement cells, where prisoners were once kept in total isolation. The most intense paranormal activity is said to occur in the rooms where prisoners were tortured. Visitors have reported feeling overwhelming dread, seeing unexplained shadows, and even being physically pushed or shoved by invisible forces. A visitor once said, I felt a chill run down my spine when I entered the cell block. It was like dozens of eyes were watching me, sorrow and anger. A former guard mentioned every night at the same time I'd hear footsteps, but whenever I went to check, there was no one there. It was as if the old inmates were still doing their rounds. Another witness shared, I heard a woman crying, the sound was so clear, so full of pain, it was almost tangible, but when I turned around, there was no one. The Black Palace of Lecumberi's history as a place of suffering and injustice seems to have left an imprint that continues to manifest in these eerie experiences, making it a magnet for those interested in the paranormal and spooky storytelling. Tunnels of Puebla, Mexico. The tunnels of Puebla located in Puebla, Mexico have a fascinating history. These underground passages have been hidden beneath the city for about 500 years before being rediscovered in 2015. They span across several kilometers underneath the city of Puebla, a place already rich in history and legends. Originally, these tunnels were likely used for different purposes including as escape routes during battles or sieges. Puebla, being a significant city since colonial times, witnessed many historical events and these tunnels might have played a critical role during such times. Visitors often report hearing faint whispers as they walk through the dimly lit tunnels. These whispers seem to come from the walls themselves with no clear source. There are tales of ghostly figures seen wandering the tunnels. 
These apparitions are said to be the spirits of soldiers who died during various battles in Puebla's history. Certain areas within the tunnels are inexplicably colder than others, leading people to believe these spots are haunted by spirits. Sounds of footsteps following visitors or echoing in the distance are a common experience. Yet, when people turn around, they find no one there. A tourist once claimed that while exploring the tunnels, he felt someone tap his shoulder. Turning around, he found nobody behind him. This sensation repeated several times each time with no one in sight. A group reported seeing a figure they thought was their guide walking ahead in the tunnel, only to find their actual guide beside them. The figure ahead vanished into thin air. There's a story of a visitor hearing the sound of a child crying, Following the sound, they came to a dead end with no sign of anyone. The crying stopped as abruptly as it had started. A local once saw a silhouette of a man in a soldier's uniform. As they approached, the figure faded away, leaving behind a chill in the air. The tunnels of Puebla in Mexico are not just pathways under a city but a maze of mysteries and ghostly tales. Each whisper, shadow, and unexplained chill adds a layer to their haunting legend. These tunnels, with their rich history and eerie atmosphere, are a reminder that sometimes the most chilling tales come from the depths beneath our feet. Make sure to like and subscribe for more stories.